So, Limited Run Games is quite in a bit of pickle right now. As you can see, there are 2.1 million views to this Twitter post. Far more than they can get on any other post. And apparently, it's because they respect all personal opinions. However, we remain committed to supporting an inclusive culture. So when I read about this, I was like, okay, who got fired? Like, if you're inclusive, you need to punish someone. You want to ruin someone. Like, you can't be an inclusive person unless you want to destroy someone's livelihood. Because what inclusivity actually means, it's a very exclusionary culture that likes to lie about itself. This is what American inclusion actually means. You know, like, if... This new speak was applied to the whole English language, then you would be horrified if the president would declare peace against the country because you know you'd be going to war. So anyway, right, uh, they, they support uh, the very inclusive culture and they investigated the situation. And I was like, oh, so the offense necromancers have been hard at work, have they? We had the offense archaeologist Indiana Jones descended into the tomb of Twitter and found something from nine years ago. An employee was terminated. I, you know, this is what's going on in my head. Like, I, I already know what's coming just by looking at the previews. Our goals as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment. Yes, because there's murders at that company happening, right? I mean, there's a serial killer loose at the company. The police can't do anything. But luckily, the people on uh, Limited Run Games, they have the knowledge and the ability to keep people safe. Right, so uh, keeping people safe means... Um, Making sure no one gets offended, right? Like, that that's what it means, making sure there's nothing problematic. So, anyway, I looked into it. What, what exactly has happened? Well, apparently, one of their community managers, years ago, uh, had some problematic tweets. But more importantly, they are excited about the new Harry Potter game. You know, like, someone working the Unlimited Run Games is excited about the upcoming Harry Potter game. This offended the sensibilities... Of a very vulnerable person on Twitter. So vulnerable that they have the power to create a hate campaign and get uh, this manager fired. And as you can see, people are fed up with this shit. Like, almost no one in the comment section is supporting these people. Everyone is outraged about this decision. And what's interesting is that years ago, you wouldn't have seen this. Like, years ago, everyone would have been quiet. Everyone's like, oh, yes, well, we're inclusive. But, but it's been so long that, again, inclusivity has been exposed to being a very exclusionary culture. It's basically like, if you don't think the exact way you're supposed to think, they will fire your ass. If you're working for a company, they should own your soul and make sure that everything you tweet, everything you say is the correct things that the company wants you to say are like a puppet and the company should be pulling the strings. And many people don't want this type of lifestyle. Many people want, look, when I'm at the company, I'm at the company. When I'm home, I should be able to say whatever I want. I should be able to be free. Just because I have a job doesn't mean that if I want to keep it, I need to pad it exactly what the company wants me to pad it. But more importantly, nothing was wrong. You know, I looked at what the community manager said. It's like, okay, so he was following Ian Miles Chang on Twitter. Horrible, I know. Just following, all right? Like, not endorsing, not... He was following that. Uh, I think... Uh, the, and, and I don't know if it's a he, by the way, because I just look at the nickname. May, might as well be a she. But they were following libs of TikTok. Uh, they liked JK Rowling, so this is why they had to be fired. Now, again, private company can do whatever it wants, but I myself am a private individual and can show the middle finger to this company, can be... Um, in disagreement with the decisions of this company. For me, it's like the company said a very racist joke, okay? If you're a left-leaning person and you want to, want to understand how we feel, it's like the company went on in public and dropped the end bomb This is literally what they did. And the company knows. They're ashamed as well. Like, look, they gave the comments disabilities. They, they don't want to hear from people, from their own customers, because they know they dumb fucked up. Right? Like, had they just drop the issue, had they ignored the problem. Like, this is what's interesting. And, and this is what's beautiful right now. This is what is gorgeous on the internet right now. There are fewer people that are going to demand you as a company support inclusivity than there are people that are going to demand you stop firing your employees over trivial shit, right? Because the original hate campaign was run by maybe a dozen people on Discord, but the backlash that they are getting is insane. I mean, there, there's over... 2.1 million views, as you can see, and only 286 retweets. Like, they're getting ratio to high heaven. I am willing to bet that this definitely affects their sales. There are so many people pissed off with this decision. It's unreal. 
and it's a good message, by the way. Like, this message should be said. Like, look, you, you have two choices. You, you can either be a company or sell a product, but if you want to get political, be sure that you're on the correct side. You're on the correct side of history, and most importantly, the correct side of finances. The economy is going to shit. Like, if you are going to choose to piss off people like this, if you're, if you're going to show that your allegiance is with the people that promote censorship, with the people that promote the idea that corporations should control the mind of their employees, well, you know, good luck finding customers, because I'm definitely not going to buy from you. And it seems that a lot of people don't want to buy either. Apparently, uh, the, the person fired was a woman. You fired a female employee for being a conservative. You people are disgusting fascist Nazis. And this is kind of the sentiment that you're getting. Inclusivity, my ass. You are catering to a very specific agenda. You fire someone from it. I will never buy from you again. Hope she fights back and sues for defamation and torturous interference. You will get way more backlash for this than you would have for keeping the person on your team and just ignoring the crime bullies. Misogyny is firing a woman for making her own choices about who she follows on Twitter. Why do you hate women? You're abusing power, good. Another company not deserving our money. Thanks for letting me know that your company has no backbone and shouldn't receive... Th th these are the comment sections on Twitter, okay? Like, we're not on a far-right website. We're not on the fringe corner of the internet. We're not on 4chan. You're utterly morally bankrupt. Safe and inclusive. Since I know many of the same account as the person you fired, I guess that means you don't want my money any longer. That, that's a very fucking good point. Yeah. Like, if you, if you happen to follow the same account from the person that got fired, well, this company thinks you're dangerous. Well, if you're dangerous, maybe don't give them your blood money because they can't sleep at night. You know, like, how, how can we endanger their employees knowing that they're getting money from dangerous individuals in society? Let, let's keep limited run games a safe company, right? So, like, if you happen to, to be a dangerous individual by following the accounts they don't like, don't give them money because they don't want your money. They're, they're scared of you, right? Like, they, they want to, to stay safe. It's really important, right? So, uh, I, I particularly like this um, start of the year because I'm seeing that the backlash is now actually worse if uh, companies are, are catering to politics that no one wants. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it will keep going. Really interested to see the next company that does this, uh, especially with, with what happened with G3. That is definitely a huge pendulum swing. So let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And uh, if you do want to support my channel, there's a link into the pinned comment where uh, you can donate. And um, I'll see you guys there. Take care.